This method was developed in Australia. That's where I first saw it. And it was invented, if you like, or made public by a man called Kelby Jeffrey in the late 1800s. Kelby Jeffrey was a law student in Melbourne. I think his father was a, 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 in the news, what was the editor of the newspaper. And Kel was very ill when he was 19, and he was in the middle of his law degree. And he was sent away to the country by the doctors because of the smog and what have you in Melbourne. And he was on a cattle ranch, and he was a city boy. And every morning, the cowboys went out to work the cattle on their horses, and they left in one of the pens an old mare. And when Kel was feeling a bit better, he said to the, the drovers, why don't you ever take the mare? Because she was beautiful looking. And the cowboys said, because she's unrideable, she's dangerous, we can't do anything with her. And so Kel was left on his own all day, and being a young man, he found a lasso, and by when they came home in the evening, he was riding the horse. He'd used this method. He'd got a rope over their neck, over the horse's neck, and he got the horse to give to the pressure. He calls this rope the magic lunge, because he knew nothing about horses. Having done that, he then began to write books and travel around the country, much as a lot of horse people do now, giving demonstrations. And there used to be long discussions about which drug he used or which hypnosis technique because it was so magical compared to how it usually is. <laughs>